The carpal metacarpal joint of the thumb is where the first metacarpal meets the trapezium, one of the carpal bones. As is the case with all joints, the cartilage padding between the metacarpal and carpal bones can wear away. This is a condition known as carpal metacarpal arthritis, or thumb basal joint arthritis. CMC arthritis may cause pain at the base of the thumb, stiffness, weakness, especially with gripping, and deformity. Treatment options include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen, bracing, and steroid injections. If these treatments are not effective, surgery may be considered. One of the more popular and successful surgeries for CMC arthritis is known as ligament reconstruction tendon interposition arthroplasty. Sometimes it is referred to as the anchovy procedure. The trapezium is removed in order to prevent the arthritic bones from grinding against one another. The void created by removing the trapezium is filled with a folded up tendon to keep the metacarpal from migrating downward. An incision is made over the CMC joint. The joint capsule around the trapezium is dissected away from the bone, taking care to avoid the radial artery and sensory nerve branches. A small piece of the first metacarpal is often excised. The trapezium is then removed. This leaves an empty space. A tunnel is created through the base of the metacarpal. The flexor carpi radialis tendon is released further up the forearm and pulled into the tunnel at the base of the metacarpal. After passing the flexor carpi radialis tendon through the tunnel, a stabilizing pin is placed to hold the metacarpal in place. The tendon is then folded onto itself to form an anchovy. The anchovy is placed in the space once occupied by the trapezium and appropriate tension applied. The anchovy is held in place with sutures. The joint capsule and skin are then closed and a thumb spica splint is applied. After about two weeks, the sutures are removed, and after about four weeks, the pin can be removed. Physical therapy is important to help with range of motion and strength.